Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the end of Phoenix Wright Trilogy. We're here in case 5 of game 3, and my god, this setup is incredible, and we're not even done with the setup yet. The murder hasn't even happened, though I suspect I know who it will happen to, which is quite the shame if I'm right. Anyhow, we're here at, uh, uh, yeah. I forget the name of this temple, but we're up in the temple in the mountains, right at the site where the the infamous dusky bridge is, where the where the framing of uh, Terry Falls occurred in Maya's first case ever. And boy, boy, is there an immense amount of stuff going on. So, uh, for the sake of time, I'm not even going to explain it all because there's a lot. And I'm just going to assume you saw the previous video, or I played this yourself. Anyhow, we're here with our good man, Larry Butts. Mmm. My man, Larry. Taking yourself under the wing of one child book author slash artist, Elise Dunin. <laughs> Follow your dreams, Larry. Follow your freaking dreams. Though I did have one thought between recording sessions here. I realized that I did think it, if, if Elise Dunim is Misty Fay in disguise, I was saying that her reaction to learning that Pearl and, and Maya were standing right in front of her should have been stronger, but I was like, oh, yeah, the, the, the Fay siblings called ahead to reserve, to reserve a, a place here. So it was like, Bikini could have told Elise that they were coming here ahead of time and she would have time to mentally prepare herself so maybe that could explain it anyway larry my man how the hell you been so what are you doing with the last name dunim well i i just i wanted to start opera again with a clean slate a clean slate you remember, don't you? Last time. The mask to mask case. Was Larry in that case? I completely forget if he was. Huh. After that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny. The Book of Destiny? You mean... The Magic Bottle by Miss Elise Dunham. It's so beautiful, so moving, so... so gentle. My heart felt cleansed! I, I was saved! Maybe I should buy a copy of The Magic Bottle. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book now, too. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. See, see, there's a photo I took of her in secret. You'd think I would stop being surprised by the depths this man can reach. The magic bottle. Is it just me, or is her hair browner? Her hair's browner for some reason. I'm trying to see if there's like anything here that could like be relevant to a case, but... Uh, I, I, it's pretty straightforward, besides like the hair color discrepancy. You want a copy, don't ya? It's okay. I just happen to have ma made extra prints. Okay. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So, tell the truth. You must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? What are you talking about? I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore. Especially not woman. Talk about a bad case of denial. 
Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's also about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking. Can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Mm, now that you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. When I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended and something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Elise Dunim. Oh, man. Oh, man. I I really do want her to be Misty now, because this is, this is just hilarious. No, y you're wrong. It's not her. It's the other girl. Oh, no. No. What? Other girl? Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, no. Anyway, Larry, my man. Uh, hmm. What do you think about this magazine? Hey, I know I may I know I may not look like it, but I'm an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. Motif. Picky picky, aren't you? Okay, how about this hanging scroll? Oh, apparently that's not Apparently this artist is not amused by the beautiful painting of a beautiful woman. Okay. He's a he's lying. Uh Well, let's go ahead and point out the most beautiful woman here. Bikini. She seems really motherly, doesn't she? What do you mean, seems motherly? She is my mother- What? She's your what? You have to take a pass on answering that one. Wait a second. Why is he getting off so easy this time? Bikini butts! Bikini butts! I think something in me just ended, all right. Oh boy. Bikini butts. Okay, I know Bikini said that Bikini isn't a real name and it's like a temple name. But oh my god, as far as I'm aware, her name is Bikini Butts now. Oh. Wow. Even cuter than the last time I saw you. Oh, really? Yeah, you look like a totally different person. Don't you think so, Nick? Maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. I want to say that's a meta joke about how they're reusing the art from, like, the first game. Hey, I remember her. That's Maya's big sis. Wow, you really do remember. Yeah, who could forget? A couple of gorgeous sisters. Hubba hubba. You hear that, Nick? Gorgeous. Oh yeah, that's right. I defended Larry. Mia was still alive. What? What do you mean Godot isn't beautiful? You're so hot. Uh, how about Pearl? I haven't seen her in a while, so I bet she's gotten a lot bigger. Well, it's only been four months since we've celebrated Ron's non-guilty verdict. Maybe so, but kids these days grow up so fast. She hasn't changed a bit as far as I can tell. Come on, Nick. I really doubt that. You just don't know because you don't pay enough attention, that's all. Sometimes I really worry about what goes on inside this guy's head. 
Elise is really something. She's like a mother, like a mother to me. Oh no, it's ruined. But my bikini butts, though. Oh. Yeah, you can tell it from the kindness reflected in her eyes. When I first looked into her eyes, I just couldn't help it. I started blabbing about all the bad things I had done in my life. Oh no. She just laughed, that gentle laugh of hers, and listened. Are you sure she wasn't just laughing at you? Tell me about yourself, Larry. Or Larice. Hey, I know it may not look like it, but I'm an artist. Oh. He's not beautiful. Ooh, yeah! Her! My little Iris. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I wonder if she would model for me. I want to draw a portrait of her. Yeah, you always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a sec. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have, basically, but... But? But... Iris is different. I feel like... I think I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never change. Everyone! Hey, Pearly! Dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. Alright! I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm going to go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also want to have a look at where Mystic Maya is going to be training. Didn't Phoenix say something about, like, Pearl can't handle this place? Eh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Hazakura Temple, that's right. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's alright to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. Well, I'm still worried about you. Well, 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 let's not dilly-dally shilly-shally. You must get ready for tonight. Dilly dally shilly shally. Isn't that like a meme? There was some anime where the dub had a character say dilly dally shilly shally. And it was like a completely weird take on some Japanese phrase. Oh, which anime was it? Oh man, I saw like the, the discussion on it and the clip like a month ago. Oh well. I can Google it after. Good luck, Maya. Alright, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 o'clock for lights out, alright? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. Mm. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. You know, maybe it's as innocent and simple as Elise wanting to interact with a child who actually reads her stuff. Like, Pearl is her target audience. Oh, really? 
love to. I, um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Ah, I'd love to. Pearls is absolutely smitten with Miss Dunim. So, Larry, what are you gonna do? Uh, me? Uh, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there. Um, Miss Elise? So, for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. What about this word? That's another tough one. It says, roast. What kind of book is she reading, anyway? Well, I'm going to go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit when you when, you th when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. Not even time to ring the bell yet. Ugh, it's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Ugh. Why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Yeah! Oh, it's Elise. Oh, uh, Miss Dunham, are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no. But, have you seen Pearl? No, not since after the dinner. I thought she said she was going to go to your room. I know, but she never showed up. Uh, I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. Miss Elise Dunham. A woman as mysterious in origin as her last name. But... The really mysterious one is... Oh! Uh, uh Sister Iris! Good evening. The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? Can't let this chance pass me by. I should try to talk with her. Maybe we get some answers. Yes, well, we both really, really have to pee. <laughs> Oh, mm. the eyes, the eyes are back, the creepy eyes. Like, maybe it's as simple as them just being really cheap and just copy-pasting Dahlia's art for the hood down model here, or the hood down art, and it's like, they just kept the eyes? I, I don't know, um, yeah. Right, well, as long as there's stuff to talk about, I think she'll stay here, so let me actually present everything first. Uh, how about you in the magazine? Oh. No, I can't show her anything, huh? How about a portrait? Um, what do you know about Elise? Or bikini. Nope, no, I can't show her anything. Okay. Um, your sister Iris, right? Yes. So, um, when did you come to Hasakura Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. So you've never left. I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini? I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. So she's like the butts. Ah, I see. But you... Didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll in the Ivy University Literature Department? No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. Training is all the education I need. 
I... I see. But once in a while, when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone, too. Not exactly something worth bragging about. I don't see any Cyclops. Oh! So I guess that means she's not lying. Please don't stare at me like that. What kind of place is this, anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, I have to admit, it is a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people? Who does it help, anyway? I hate it. R really? So then why stay in a place like this? Uh... Is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it's almost 10 o'clock now, huh? Um... Mr. Wright? Yes? If it's alright with you, I would like you to have this. But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Come to think of it, Sister Bikini was wearing one of these too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. What do you know? I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris. I, yes? Just now, you called me by my name. You said, Mr. Wright. How did you mo know my name? I never introduced myself to you. Dang it! There I go, being all cautious and going, wait, how did Elise know Pearl's name? But oh yeah, Pearl introduced herself. And then I go and miss this. Great, great, great priority, Zephyr. Great job. That's... Sister Iris, please, tell me the truth. You and I... Have we ever met before? Oh boy. The first Cyclock of the case, and it's five of them. Oof. Uh, Iris... Uh, oh... It's almost ten. Perhaps we can speak again. Tomorrow. Gone. 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 It's gone o'clock. So my hunch was correct. She does know me. I have to try to talk with her again tomorrow. Blood-curling scream came from the courtyard. Oh, dang it. Oh, the staff, it's Elise. Oh. Oof. Okay, so the, uh, the scream occurred one hour after the bell rang. I see. I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! S someone's there! On the ground! It's Dunim! Squish? I just stepped on something soft. Hey! Don't step on my tummy like that! What are you doing lying here in the snow? I, I was passed out. 
What do you think? So that blood curdling scream was. Forget about that. Uh, hurry up and call the police. Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still get reception up here in the mountains. You must have a cell phone on you, right? I, um, didn't bring... Oh, you're useless. I mean, Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. We'll have to go use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. Run as fast as you can. Yes, ma'am. If you don't hurry, Iris will. Iris will. Iris will what? <gasps> <gasps> Look in the background. Oh my god. It's a stepladder. Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh, there's a time and place for everything's after. Come on. Farther than I thought. Bridge is just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened too. Ha! <gasps> Oof! Dusky Bridge. It's burning down. What the heck happened? But that is not the correct face to have. What are you doing here? Ah! Oh, well, what is it? Is it me? Don't, don't scare me like that, Larry. I almost had a heart attack. My name isn't Larry. It's Larice. Larry, hurry up and call the police. Go to the inner temple. D don't be stupid. We're just nothing but a burning wreck right now. L listen to me. There's been a murder here at Hasakura Temple. What? The murderer might have fled across the bridge. I have to make sure Maya is safe. But, but, but. Please, call the police. I've got to go. Get out of my way, Larry. It's too dangerous. Nick, wait. I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but. It still went for it. Uh... Well... Shit. Okay, I guess I know why Phoenix is in a hospital. Um... Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's plank snapped and gave way. As I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me, a final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. Well, this is good. Date unknown, time unknown. Location unknown. Ring, ring. Who could that be at this time of night? Oh! Oh! I was like... Last time... Last video, as I was closing it out, I was thinking to myself, Man, the only way this could possibly be more hype is if Edgeworth was brought into the fold somehow. Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up, it's an emergency! Uh, Larry... Do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Larice! Larice Dunim! Uh, this is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Oh, wait! Don't hang up! It's an emergency! 
It's Nick. He, he... He took a really nasty spill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking. His life is in danger. Wh what What happened? Tell me. Talk about a guy with bad luck. He may already be dead. Anyway, I've got to come back. You're the one who can help. My Iris. My beautiful Iris. She needs help. Alright. I don't know what's going on, but... Be there as soon as I can. Uh, I'm at the detention center. Please, hurry! Oh, don't... Don't tell me Iris is the... The defendant here. It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. So I expected anything to change. You're late, Edgy! What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one! Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise. And Nick is... My... And... Huh? Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right a visit. Yeah, well there you go, he is in the hospital. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Dunin. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. Man. Seeing Phoenix straight on just looks so wrong. The hospital says it'll need at least two days of bed rest. Yes, that's right. You got it. But they arrested her, my sweet little Iris. And here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? They're things Wright gave me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. Bruh. Bruh. Uh. The Phoenix is out of con commission for two days. Phoenix gave him the Magatama. And we're currently seeing things through Edgeworth's perspective. Are we playing as Edgeworth right now? He said something, some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? Oh, baby. Begging you, Iris's trial starts tomorrow. With Nick out of the picture, you're you're all I've got left. You're the only one that can represent her. What did you just say? You know, represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. Like a... To me like a kid? I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. Oh my god. Even the paper badge was set up for this. Really. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? <laughs> Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. 
listen to Iris' side of the story. So right wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. Well... Oh my god. Miles Edgeworth, defense attorney at law. Uh, well, Edgy Poo, you fulfilled your original dream at long last, huh? Okay, here we go. Holy crap. This game, dude. Mm. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be out of any help, but... I will at least hear what you have to say. About the murder. Um... Mr. Wright, how, how is he? Mr. Lurie said that he... That he might even die? Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron! How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Must be imagining things. Oh, right. Right. Edgeworth would recognize this woman. This woman? I feel like I've met her before. Oh. New song. Oh, man. This case is pulling out every single stop. Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It, it must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power, but... So, what's going on with Maya? What's Maya's situation? I don't know. Like, is she still over there in that hut? That'd be pretty nasty. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at the temple then? some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there, and why I continue to train, to purify my soul. Now, Edgeworth isn't having any reaction to that, but with the Magatama in his possession, there were no Cyclops to that confession just now. If this is Iris Hawthorne, Dahlia's sister, then those sins are probably not being able to change what her sister has done or affect things for the better. If this is the real Dahlia Hawthorne, then holy crap, re redemption twist of the century. to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. All right. I helped the clean up after dinner, and then went back to my room at about 8 o'clock. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10 o'clock. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then... to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and 
and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked, asked to? I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to her story. I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Frightened of what? You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? Nope, time for Edge was to flip a shit. <laughs> what? what in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Looks like she's not aware of them herself. This must be what Wright was talking about. The psycholocks. Psycholocks? <laughs> Edrith didn't remember the exact word. That's adorable. I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. Huh? So do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? Uh, I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was un unleashed. But if you don't have any spiritual power, how did you detect it in the first place? Spiritual power? Yes. Spiritual training has been the cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I am certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Dunin? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. The psycholock things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Um... It appears that's about all that you can tell me. Wait, wait, I gotta ask her about stuff from the court record? Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited Wright at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Uh, me? Yes. At the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know, right? Or, or, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? He is a very dear and indispensable friend. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. You... Deceived him? I heard that he was... In a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. Is this really Dahlia? Up. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. 
Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. Yes, I'll just leave this high security prison that I'm currently detained in, you dumbass. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. That's enough information gathered for now. I should head to the crime scene. Ah, oh, good. We can talk to her more. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Have I heard this song before? I want to say that I haven't. It's bop, though. Oof. Okay. What is Edra's perspective on these things? The guard is glaring at me. If someone glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor. It's what I was taught. <laughs> oh, man. Um, are you alright, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> the best part about this is that we're actually getting internal thoughts from Edgeworth. We're in Edgeworth's head. This is doing wonders to characterize him. The, the camera's glaring at me! <laughs> oh, Edgeworth, your, your, your outlook on life is incredible. If something glares at you, it's only polite to return the favor. That's what I was taught. Um, is something bothering you? Hmm? Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh my god. This is already amazing. Okay. Um. First. Uh. I think it's doubtless we'll come back to question her, especially because we have that cyclock to break. So maybe I just want to wait for one big grand questioning thing with her. Maybe. Hmm. Now let's. I show everything. Is that an attorney's badge? Yes, this belongs to Wright. Really? I'm actually a prosecutor. Oh, then why do you have a defense attorney's badge pinned on your label? Well, you see, I am. Um, I borrowed it. What can you tell me about the Magatama? Oh wait, wait, no, no, wait! I'm not ready. Oh, I can just back out right away, that's right. Uh... Since I have been handed this in this case, it is my duty to dig up all the answers. Understand? Uh, yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe the case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. So I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then... Is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yeah, yes I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said that you didn't go because you were frightened. Th that's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? I'd hazard a guess and say the bridge. Iris, I wonder... Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? Nope. It's either that or the lack of the hood. It's like I still don't have enough information. Um, never mind all that. Tell me about Misty Fay. Who is the woman on this Hayden scroll? Well, I don't know the details, but... I heard she's a master of the crane channeling technique. M master? Yes, M 
mystic Misty. She was a great spirit medium. That's what I've heard. I also heard that she went missing over 15 years ago. Spirit mediums. There's no such thing anyway. Mr. Edgeworth? I know all about them. They're nothing but frauds. Right. Misty was involved in Edgeworth's father's final case. That's right. Mm. Oh my god, it's all tying back together. Holy crap. Huh? She doesn't know anything about it, of course. But there was a time, 17 years ago, when I met the master myself. Did the music just change? That's called a demon warden hood. I gave that to Mr. Wright last night. He was wearing this when I saw him at the hospital today. It's an important item for protecting acolytes from evil spirits. If it's so important, then why did you give it to him? Last night I felt... something. I felt that something terrible was about to happen. I... I didn't want Mr. Wright to fall into its grip. Well, he wound up falling into something much deeper and colder. I probably shouldn't say that out loud, though. Thank God for inner monologue. <laughs> oh, edgy poo. against the idea of our temple appearing in that magazine. I was afraid that this type of a tragedy might occur. In that case, why did you allow them to run an article about you? It was Sister Bikini. She's actually rather fond of attention, surprisingly so. She certainly does look rather happy in this photo. Dunan. She's a picture book author, so I've heard. Does she come to Hazakura Temple often? No. This was her first time. And no Cyclox. Okay. So maybe... Hmm. Well, my theory about Morgan Fay waiting to lay a trap for the Fays is bunk. Hmm. Interesting. It's just that... She was a very important visitor. Is that so? Yes. Sister Bikini told me, be certain not to offend her. The victim, Miss Elise Dunim. The prosecutor's office still doesn't have much information about her, it seems. So what do you think about Phoenix, Iris? Mr. Wright, how bad is his cold? Well, his fever is very high. As a result, he's rather confused. He's worried about Maya, who is still trapped in the inner temple. Oof. Oh, man, there's like no food over there. Oh, man, thank goodness Maya ate till she was bursting. Oof. And he's quite worried about you as well, it seems. Really? Yes. Naturally, once he recovers, I'll pass the baton back to him. No, don't. I'm sure that Mr. Wright wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want to defend me. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing about gumshoe. Oh. Oh, I thought, Fe uh, I thought Edgeworth would have something snarky to say about Dick Gumshoe's profile. But no. That's Mr. Larice. I'm sorry. Who did you say it was? Larice Dunim. He is Mr. Kalise's apprentice, I think. All right. Now, who exactly is this guy? He's a very sincere, hard-working person. Um, did I say something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, excuse me. I was temporarily at a loss for words. Take a trip. Come home. 
be thrust suddenly into Bizarro World. <laughs> okay, this is the same same dialogue as the photo. Tell me about yourself. You want to know about me? There is not much to tell, I'm afraid. Just let me get one thing straight. You were raised at Hasakura Temple, correct? And yet somehow you seem to know right. So you two must have crossed paths somewhere. No, Mr. Edgeworth. Whomever it was, it couldn't have been me. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, that cinches it. I am 100% confident that this woman is Dahlia's sister. It has to be. It just has to be. That phrasing is way too on the nose. Alright, Iris, I trust you fully. You are a good person. But what did she do to deceive Phoenix? Well, I mean... Hmm. I don't know. Anything new to pop up? No. Okay. So, Lon, let's head to the suspension bridge. It sure is cold, alright. So this is it. Dusky Bridge. Oh, wow! It's you, Mr. Edgeworth! Oh! I thought it would be Pearl! Oh, no. <laughs> Ugh. Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see. It's been about a year, or has it been longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch! There's that sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess. You were transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. You even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Ah, uh, gumshoe indeed. I gum on your shoe is impossible to get rid of. I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Cadell was going to get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell ya. Prosecutor Cadell? Edgy Poo doesn't know him! Oh, that's exciting. Oh, <laughs> oh, the clash of will in the courtroom is going to be magnificent. Oh. Well, as much as I'd like to get started on a chat with the good old Gumshoe here, I think we're running up on an hour of video here, so I think I need to call it right now. So, man. Poor Elise Dunim, that sweet, nice lady, died. No bones about it. And if it comes to pass that... She really was Misty Fay. My god, that's just so tragic. At least Pearl and Maya got to meet her. I guess. Unless she's Morgan Fay, then screw her. <laughs> uh, but no, I think she's Misty. They aren't bringing up there was like one mention of the Branch family and that's it, but there's so much about Misty here. And now that Edgeworth is roped into this, it's just too much. Misty is relevant to him as well. Meanwhile, Morgan has nothing to do with him. It She has to be Misty. It's as simple as that. And my god, we're playing as Miles Edgeworth. Phoenix got very, very, very conveniently written out of the plot. He's stuck in the hospital. And now we're Miles goddamn Edgeworth. <laughs> oh, man. 
Ugh. This is already a strong contender for my favorite case. If this reaches the heights of my favorite moments, like cinching the noose around Von Karma's neck, or or finally making the ultimate decision against Matt on guard, then my god, it's a no-brainer. It, it would be a no-brainer to call this my favorite case. This is just incredible. I hope it sticks to the landing. The, this, is, this case is, fittingly enough, a culmination of every plot thread brought up throughout the entire story. The entire trilogy. This is incredible. I love it. I'm such a huge fan. This is the best. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Too much hype! Hype overload! Uh, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Deep breaths. Uh, poor Maya stuck over on that side. Man, I wonder if there's like a back entrance to the cave. Like, if there's some other way off the mountain. Like, there has to be, right? I don't know. Um... So why... Why would the bridge be burnt? So, hold on. Actually, let's talk about who could possibly be the murderer. So... Elix is dead. It can't be her, of course. Unless it was like an accident. Like, it could be like an accidental death, but... No, then there'd be like literally no reason at all for... The bridge to burn. Clearly someone was covering their tracks. Literally, because I think there's tracks on the ground. They're all muddied, though. Um... Hmm... Like, the only two other people here are Bikini and Iris. Logically, it should be one of them. Unless, like, the spiritual energy caused Maya to be, like, possessed by some ghost or whatever. Like, maybe this is... Like, I could see Maya getting, like, possessed and overwhelmed by some spirit. Like, and coming across the bridge and killing Misty Fay for some reason. For, I don't know. Like, it would be what happened in the second game. Where it was thought that a ghost that Maya channeled killed someone, but no, it was just actually a body double. Maybe they, they do that for real. Maybe they just do that for real. I don't know. I have so many questions. I can't wait to see where this goes. And I've been blabbering on quite long enough. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you later. So until then, please take care.